This is the story of the crucifixion, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus had been teaching and preaching. He'd been healing and feeding people all up and down Judea. The crowds followed him. Jesus taught the crowds that the kingdom of God was close, that God was loving and that they should love one another as God loved them, and that their sins were forgiven and that they ought to forgive one another. The people loved him. But some people were afraid of what Jesus taught. The Pharisees were the religious leaders at the time. And while Jesus taught that God was close by and loving and forgiving, the Pharisees had not been very forgiving. They had not been loving and they had not been close with the people. They were afraid of Jesus, afraid of what he taught, afraid of what it meant for them, and they wanted him gone. The Pharisees weren't the only ones Jesus upset. He also upset the Romans. Pontius Pilate was the governor of Judea where Jesus lived. The Roman emperor had sent him to control the region because Rome had conquered it. When Pontius Pilate heard that Jesus preached about a kingdom, he became afraid. The Romans wanted only one king, Caesar. And when he heard that Jesus called himself the Son of God, then he became very afraid. That could be dangerous for the Romans. And so Pilate and the Pharisees both wanted Jesus gone. And they had him arrested. They had him beaten. And then they had him hung on the cross to die was a terrible way to die, painful and lonely. Jesus hung there for three hours in the hot sun. Just as he died, he said to God, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After Jesus was dead, some of his followers took his body down and they laid it in a tomb that was cut into the living rock nearby and then rolled a heavy stone in front of the door. The tomb was sealed. Jesus lay there for three days. On the morning of the third day, Friends of Jesus came to the tomb to weep. Mary Magdalene, who had followed Jesus and had helped support him with her money, and another woman named Mary, who had also followed Jesus. They came to weep, to mourn together, and to be close to Jesus. But as they approached, there was a tremendous earthquake. The ground shook and the huge boulder that blocked the tomb was rolled away. And an angel sat atop it. And the angel said to the women, do not be afraid for they were terrified. And the angel said, I know you are here to see Jesus. He's not here. He is risen. He has gone ahead to Galilee. Go ahead, look, see the place where he lay. See the grave clothes left behind. But he is not here. He has gone to Galilee. Go 
and tell his disciples to find him in Galilee. That is my message for you. The women were overwhelmed with excitement and they began to run to tell the disciples what had happened. But as they were going, suddenly, Jesus was before them. They fell down and they worshipped him. And he said to them, Tell my disciples that I have gone to Galilee. That's where they will find me. And the women ran to tell what had happened. that they had seen the risen Lord.